Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video I'm going to be comparing Hostinger and GoDaddy and explaining which one I personally think is better. Now I'll drop a link in the description where you can see a detailed comparison of these two websites and receive special discounts. All right, so let's get into it. Now, Hostinger and GoDaddy are both very popular hosting platforms. In fact, I'd be surprised if you haven't heard of GoDaddy. Their advertisements are basically everywhere over the web. Even so, it brings into consideration the question of which platform is better, which one provides a better service to their customers, does GoDaddy or Hostinger provide a better, more reliable hosting service? Well, let's go ahead and get into that. Now, Hostinger is a very, very good platform, despite the fact that it's slightly smaller than GoDaddy, which is basically a hosting giant. Hostinger has 99.9% .9 uptime and very good customer support. Now to compare these two platforms though, we really need to take a look at the differences between them and the price differences, because that's really where the deciding factor is. Which one costs more and for which performance, because they both offer stellar performance, so then it really comes down to which one can get you that performance for the cheapest. Now overall, they both provide very similar plans. However, if we're looking at the cheapest plan you can get between both platform, then this is definitely gonna go to Hostinger. As you can see here, it's going to be very hard to find any hosting company that can provide a service for cheaper than 99 cents a month. 99 cents a month for a hosting plan is incredibly cheap. Now GoDaddy does offer cheap plans as well, but not nearly as cheap as Hostinger can offer them for because Hostinger is basically known as the cheapest web hosting service on the market. The fact that their prices are that low is mind boggling, quite honestly. So just to compare between which plans are the cheapest, this one definitely has to go to Hostinger because they flatten all their competition if you're evaluating them purely based on the price. Up next, however, we're gonna be talking about a feature which GoDaddy has and Hostinger does not actually offer. Now this is dedicated hosting. If you're not familiar with what dedicated hosting is, dedicated hosting is where you get your own private web server, your own physical server in the GoDaddy warehouse or the Hostinger warehouse. You get your very own server where no other websites but yours are hosted. Now the key difference between Hostinger and GoDaddy here is that Hostinger does not actually offer a dedicated hosting plan because Hostinger's entire business model is providing the best services possible at the lowest prices, they don't really have any reason to offer a dedicated hosting plan because those are usually much more expensive and the prices get up there. They can't really optimize performance when it comes to a plan like that. So they're not going to be able to serve the customer with as cheap of a price if they're offering a dedicated hosting plan and they just choose not to. Now this isn't necessarily a con for Hostinger unless you need a dedicated server. So if your website is big or if you are running a lot of websites, you will want a dedicated server for those, but 99% of people do not need a dedicated server for their website. The amount of people who need a dedicated server goes into the decimals of percents. It is an incredibly small niche market. If you do need it, however, you're definitely going to have to go with GoDaddy or some similar platform like Bluehost, which does provide a dedicated server option because Hostinger doesn't provide that. So in the category of dedicated hosting, GoDaddy does provide a better service because Hostinger doesn't provide one at all. Moving into VPS hosting, however, I would definitely have to recommend Hostinger again because from my research, they're just cheaper and they provide very good performance for their price. So if you are looking into VPS hosting instead of dedicated hosting, which VPS or virtual private server is essentially a dedicated host, but not on an actual physical machine, just a virtual one. So it's very similar to dedicated hosting, but not quite as customizable and not quite as performance based, which makes it not quite as expensive. And this of course is why Hostinger can provide a VPS plan. Because they're not running any dedicated server, they can provide the plan and still optimize it and customize it and make it the best performance possible for the cheapest price. This is why just looking at the Hostinger website right now, as you can see their cheapest VPS is actually $3.95 per month. Now most VPS systems are going to be substantially more than that. Now, Hostinger really does shine in providing the cheapest price for the best quality. As you can see, you get one gig RAM, 20 gigs disk space, and one terabyte bandwidth with a dedicated IP and full root access. 
Now their more expensive plans get up there, 3899 with 8 gigs RAM, 160 gigs disk space, 8 terabytes bandwidth, and a dedicated IP as well. So you really do have a lot of options when it comes to VPS hosting. Overall, however, I do think Hostinger provides a cheaper and more reliable VPS hosting system. Now both Hostinger and GoDaddy do provide WordPress hosting systems as well as custom website builders, so you can really get into that and look at all the details between the plans. Just to recap though, I do think Hostinger overall is a better hosting company than GoDaddy. I think they provide a better service, better performance, and definitely at a cheaper price. If you are looking for a dedicated server though, maybe more scalability, a more expensive hosting plan, then definitely go for GoDaddy because they provide much larger hosting plans than Host. Hostinger usually tries to provide the cheapest and best quality hosting plans, whereas GoDaddy has larger plans, bigger plans, plans with more scalability. Well, thanks for watching. Now, if you do have any questions or any comments, just put them in the comments below and I'll be sure to respond. Also, just a reminder that I do have a link in the description where you can compare these websites and receive special discounts. Well, thanks for watching. Till next time and have a great day.